Hey boo hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay and I talk about building a business online, faith and motherhood. So what I wanna talk about in this video is how to create a successful brand in 2021. So in talking about building a personal brand or building your brand, in 2021 i have to start with this in order to make an impact you have to take a stand and build your authority listen i'm gonna be honest people are tired of cookie cutter right people are tired of hearing the same information over and over and over again just packaged differently right Bruh. everybody's tired of that we really want to see in 2021, your audience wants to see how you are different, right? What is your real stance? They wanna see you speak about things that are counterculture. Instead of following the popular norms or whatever the trends are, you should be that person that's saying like, hey, listen, I'm really not that pressed about X, Y, and Z. That's really not that exciting. For me, one thing that has been really paramount is me standing up and talking more about my faith and incorporating faith into your business. And so that's something that makes me stand up and stand out. Also, I'm anti-hustle culture. And so that is like a whole nother conversation for a lot of people. Um, and honestly, it allows people to see that I take a stand for something. And so when you are trying to build a brand in 2021, it's important to recognize and remember that your ideal client, your dream audience, your dream customers, they want to know how you're different. They want to know, oh, wow, like sis is over here really not pressed about what anybody else is doing, right? You're staying in your own lane and creating a name and a space for yourself. And so it's super important that you build your authority in a way that shows people that you stand up and you stand out and that you stand for something. Gone are the days that we can just kind of have behind what everybody else is doing like mm. <laughs> you know people are gonna be kind of looking at you sideways when they see you putting out the same content as someone else and actually they really won't even look at you sideways because they probably won't get to see who you are the truth of the matter is is that there are a lot of people in this online space and it's important for you to cut through that noise you're gonna have to stand up and stand for something and stand on your own authority so when we're talking about your authority and building your authority, the one question you want to ask yourself is what do you want to be known for? When you know what you want to be known for, at that point, you can start creating content and you can create a brand and messaging around what that thing is. So for me, I want to be known as a, a, a person that loves people. I want to be known as someone that loves Jesus, my babies, building businesses, building profitable brands, making a lot of sh money. Like that's how I want to be known. Literally, I coined myself, well, I don't, I don't know. I created like this little community where we're calling ourselves low key ratchet, high key safe because your girl like to have fun, but I'm super saved. Right. And so, um, I have created that as a part of my brand. And so when you're building your brand, you want to ask yourself, how do you want to be known? If somebody is introducing themselves or sorry, if somebody is introducing you to a friend of theirs, how would you want them to present you to them? Right. What would you want? What kind of keywords would you want them to say about you when they're explaining what your brand is? And that's what you want to think about when you're building a profitable brand in 2021. What are the words? What are the phrases? What are the what like what is the general idea that you want people to get from interacting with you and your brand? And how do you want people to communicate that to other people, right? You have to first communicate that language so that other people can communicate it for you. So because I know what I want my brand to be known as, how I want people to identify my brand, now I can create content and messaging around that. And so once you have those keywords and you're like, okay, this is what I want to be known for when someone introduces me when I walk into a room I want people to know me as x y and z when you're clear on that now you can create content that is going to specifically attract people that are part of that tribe right that identify with who you are what you do how you show up and that is how you start building a really profitable brand especially in 2021 the next thing that I want to mention is that it's super super important to focus on people listen I get it I know that you know we want to serve everybody we want to you know everybody's our ideal client right eh, that's wrong <laughs> everybody is not your ideal client there are going to be some people that you simply should not work with and that your content should not be attracting and so it's really important that you get crystal clear on who is your ideal client who is the one person that you want to show up and serve every single day like period like <laughs> i hate that i said that but anyway who is the person that you want to 
consistently serve every single day if there was only one person who would that person be and you need to intimately know who this person is right it doesn't need to be a thing where you are being vague and saying like oh i help women you know that are between an age range whatever whatever right let's just be honest people are not an age range right now i am 29 years old i'm not 25 to 30 right i fall in that category but i'm not 25 to 30 i'm 29 years old so it's okay to be really clear and say listen my ideal client is 27 years old she does x y and z right being very clear on who our ideal client is humanizes who they are for one, but also it allows us to connect more deeply with them when we're creating content. And the truth of the matter is a lot of times people struggle with creating content because you're trying to talk to such a large group of people. Every time you create a piece of content, everything that goes on your website needs to be speaking intentionally to one person. When you're able to master speaking to one person, you will build a wildly successful brand and business because when someone comes across you and your content or your website or however they come across you, they are gonna feel like, wow sis dead like she knows me <laughs> like she has nailed me she's speaking my language like okay sis finesse right and you're gonna just finesse yourself right to the bank and it's gonna be a beautiful thing so while we're talking about people the next thing that we have to talk about is how you are going to reach these people most people in 2021 you are going to be building your business online right so you have to figure out what online platforms you're gonna dominate and show up in so that you can attract your ideal client what this is gonna look like is I highly recommend you have one pillar platform that you're hanging out on. And this pillar platform, this main platform that you're hanging out on, it needs to be something that you can own. So for example, your website, a blog, or maybe a um, podcast, right? Some kind of piece of content that you are always own or your email list. You need to have a pillar piece of content that you're consistently creating week after week, month after month kind of thing that you can attract people to and always drive traffic to this source. From there, you can have micro platforms and these micro platforms will be your social media platforms, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all those kind of things. Those are what I call micro platforms. And the reason why they're micro platforms is because they should come secondary to those main ways that you are generating leads or um, attracting new people to your brand. I know this is kind of like counter what everybody else does because a lot of people, they just say like, oh, you can start and build everything on social media, but I highly recommend you don't do that. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all these platforms, they crash. And yeah, websites can crash too, but at least you own your website. You own your email list. You own your podcast or the content that you create on your podcast. And it's something that you can, once you create a really strong, juicy piece of content in your, or on your podcast, on your blog or something like that when you create content there you can break that content up and basically share it across all of the social media channels instead of trying to work backwards so um, i highly recommend that you really understand and figure out what platform works best for you in terms of where you can put your pillar piece of content and then twofold also understand where is your ideal client hanging out does your ideal client enjoy podcasts? Does she enjoy reading blogs? What What is her method or, or his? What are their method to consume content? Where do they like to consume content? And that's where you need to show up and create content primarily. Now, listen, I get it. I'm still trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing because I know my audience likes video. So I yeah, I get it. It's a little challenging maybe to show up in certain capacities. And so I will say if you are struggling with like, how do I create a podcast or how do I show up, you know, here, do X, Y, and Z, what I want you to first start with is what is the easiest thing for you to do? Truth be told, if it's not easy for you to do, you're not gonna do it, right? And you're gonna find yourself back at square one, watching all these YouTube videos, trying to figure out how to grow and scale your business. Listen, don't make your life any more challenging than it already is. And I know a lot of us have just so many things that we have on our plate. Start with the basics. If you feel like you can only slap together a couple of sentences in a blog post, do that and share it everywhere. Make your life as easy as possible. And then as you start to grow and expand, then you can hire help or you can spend a little more time learning some of these other platforms that you can use to circulate your content. Because again, it's all about getting your message out there, showcasing your authority and your expertise and letting people see you as someone that's not just following the status quo. You're out here just like spitting all this knowledge and people are just soaking it up because they enjoy who you are and how you're authentically showing up.
So many of you are probably at this video because you're like, yeah, I do want to grow a successful brand in 2021. But one thing that I want to challenge you to do right now immediately is to audit your current presence, audit your current content. What about your content is kind of feeling lackluster to you? What are you not excited about? What do you wish was better? Audit your content and figure out where you need to focus next because you're not gonna be able to fix everything at one time. So it's important to know, hey, I need to work on posting better quality images to my Instagram, or I need to focus on having a pillar platform that I'm hanging out on. I need to focus on creating more content for my podcast or my blog or doing more video content. Whatever that looks like, you need to audit where your brand is right now. Maybe it's your colors and your fonts. They're all over the place. You can't figure out how to make sense of anything. And some stuff you don't need to be DIYing. Listen, I know, I know, we all love the DIY. Sis, I love the DIY, I ain't gonna lie. I love DIYing things. But truth be told, as you are trying to elevate and grow your brand, it's gonna be really crucial and really important that certain things you don't try to cut corners on. And sometimes your colors and your fonts and things like that, those things really do matter. So you also want to audit whether or not you are articulating the way you actually want to be your brand to be represented, right? So we talked about how do you want people to know you and to introduce you? What do you want to be known as? You want to go through your content and go through wherever your branding is, whether it's on your website, your content or whatever. And you want to be objective and look and say, wow, am I giving out the message that I want people to understand and know about me? Am I giving out the value that I feel like I'm bringing to the table for people? And if not, start with your content. Start with changing up your next few posts. Start talking about specifically what it is that you want to be known as. Listen, there is no perfect time to relaunch. You don't have to do this whole extra relaunch thing. I know a lot of people get really caught up in their heads about, oh, I need to do X, Y, and Z to relaunch. No, you don't, sis. You don't need to do all the extra to relaunch. You can literally wake up today, wake up tomorrow and say, all right, changing my brand and it's okay. Trust me, a year from now, nobody is even gonna remember what was going on in your feed or what was going on in your blog right now. You're gonna have to remind them that it looked a hot mess, right? So don't worry about it. Choose today, choose in this moment to audit your content and to decide that, okay, from this point forward, I'm gonna be improving or I'm gonna change this part right now and start there. And as you continue to make tiny changes to your content or make small changes to your overall branding or to your overall message, as you start doing that, you will now create a more cohesive brand, which will allow you to become more profitable. So the last thing that I'm going to say is that you need to be consistent. Listen, I know, I know, I know, I know. People talk about this all the time. This is like the default answer, but it's so true. You have to be consistent in how you show up. You have to be consistent with showing up and you have to consistently put out that message that you want people to know and understand about you, right? If people don't know you exist, they're not going, like, they're, they're not going to be able to buy from you. There's no way that you can become profitable if people don't know that you're there. And so it's going to be really important when we're talking about consistency that you understand consistency does not equal frequency. So I'm not saying, oh, now you have to post every single day or you need to be putting up a blog every single week. No, you get to set the terms as to what consistency looks like. Maybe you decide you only want to do a monthly podcast. Go for it, right? If that's what works for you, that's what works for your ideal client and you do a long three hour podcast once a month, go for it, sis. I'm not mad at you. I'm not telling you that you have to post every single day of the week because you don't have to. Consistency does not equal frequency. So you can free yourself up from that idea. But what I will say is that it's super important that if you decide that you're going to post three times a week, you consistently show up and you post three times a week. If you're dedicated and you let people know, hey, I'm going to post a blog post or a video every single week, do it every single week. Because when people see that you're consistent, they trust you more, right? And when they trust you more, it increases the value of your brand. Honestly, if you are just consistent, consistently delivering that value, consistently sharing your message, consistently showing people that you have something to offer that's different from what everybody else is doing, you will make it. Your business will grow, your brand will grow, and you will become more profitable because people can now see you, right? You are now becoming more visible. And again, it's not about frequency. You do not have to post every single day if you don't want to, if you don't have the capacity to, right? Some of us are moms. We don't have the time. 
<laughs> we don't have the time, you know, to always be posting every single day. It, it may not just, it may not be for you. And it may not honestly be for your ideal client. Some, some audiences don't enjoy seeing influencers or business owners or anything posting every single day. They just don't, right? And so you have to know who your ideal client is so that you can understand, okay, this is the frequency that I should be doing and then consistently show up according to that. So I, I would be remiss not to talk about consistency because it really is a thing. And so I really hope that this was able to encourage you or to help you as you are building your brand. Listen, we are in quarter one, like quarter one is not even over yet. So there is still so much time for you to hit whatever goals you have for your business and to set new goals, right? To, to set new, more ambitious goals if you want to, because you have so much time. So don't be discouraged. And I hope that these few tips and this conversation was able to help you in thinking about how to create a profitable brand in 2021. So until next time, I will see you later, darling.